Hey guys, welcome to Weekly Crypto. Today, I'm going to show you how to install Monero Wallet in preparation for the upcoming hard fork for Monero V. For every one Monero you have, you will get 10 Monero V. In order to claim Monero V, you have to have your Monero in your own private wallet that you have your own private key. Currently, there's no major exchange support the Monero V. Uh, but there's a one small exchange, uh, Ovis exchange, that they support uh, Monero V. I never used this exchange before. If you guys have used Ovis, let me know. So the upcoming half fault will be on April 30th. Initially, it was on April 15th or something. They postponed it. So you have 49 days left to have the preparation. So the half fault will be at 1564965. Currently, we are at block height 1529028. So you still have plenty of uh, time to prepare for the upcoming hard fork. To get the Monero wallet, you go to getmonero.org. Depending on the platform that you have, Mac or Windows version, uh, I use the Mac version. So after I download the file, I will do a SHA SUM check. The reason for doing a SHA SUM uh, check is because uh, when you download a file from the host to your computer, I'm not sure if there's a temper in between, right? So in order to check the integrity of the file, there's no temper in between uh, from the download from the host to your computer. So I use a Shasham check. So I open a terminal in my Mac machine. Then I go to the files that I download the file, I put in download. So I download in here. So I drag this Monero wallet that I just download into the terminal. Then I go to the front and type SHA SUM. So I will type SHA SUM space uh, dash A dash uh, space, no dash, 256 space and then enter. Then it will come back with a whole bunch of numbers in here. You can see here like 4F63. So this number should be matched with the number in here. So if the number is matched, that means there's no compromise of your file when you download from the host to your computer. For Windows, you have to go to the download.cnet.com to download the SHA checksum utility. After you download the file, this is a snapshot you how you do it. You browse the file that you download, then you copy and paste this Sashom thing. So let's go back here. So for Windows, you go back depending on 32-bit or 64-bit. So you copy this. Uh Shasham check. And then you paste it to here and then you click verify so it will tell you whether it passed the shasom check or it fails so this is how you do it for the window version so after you download the monero wallet then you will um, install the wallet right so i click to this page so they will ask you welcome to monero you want to do english so i'm going to have to do the english version so he is saying that you want to create a new wallet or you want to restore the wallet so I will go ahead and create a new wallet. So the wallet name. So any name you want to put in here, I will put a test in here. This is a, for testing purposes. So remember this phrase in here. So make sure you copy down every single word that in here, this is the seed file that you use to restore your wallet. So if you lose this seed file, then you lost all your money, so or all your Monero. So be, be very careful. You can copy and paste and then save it in an encrypted jump drive. Never save it in, in your same computer that you install the Monero. Or you can write it down in a safe place. So make sure you uh, put that in a safe place. Okay, This is a seed file that you can restore your wallet. Even though you uh, this computer you crash, then you can, in, you can restore a Monero wallet in another computer using this uh, seed phrases that you can restore your wallet. So right now, I just uh, copy and paste for now because this is uh, for testing purposes. 
I'm not I'm not going to use this zip file anyway. So this is just a daemon uh, daemon file. So after that, uh, after you put it in a safe place, then you can click next. So type in a good password for this. So I would just put in a good password for this Monero wallet. So then I'll go ahead and click OK. And again, I will go ahead and use Monero. So there's two options right now. Uh, currently, there's two options right now. Uh, I can go to settings. One, you can download the whole uh, blockchain to your computer, to your local host to store all the data in your computer, but it will take a lot of bandwidth and your disk space. Or you can do remote nodes uh, options. But remote nodes, um, this is not good for privacy. So for me right now, um, I'm just testing purposes or this fit your personal criteria, depending on what's your preferences. So if you want to save the time to uh, instead of synchronize the whole blockchain, you can use remote nodes, or you can choose to synchronize the whole blockchain. It will take overnight. So basically, you turn on your computer, disable the screensaver, just uh, to synchronize the whole thing before you can uh, see the transaction. So you can still receive it right now, but then you won't be able to send it or you won't be able to see the transactions because uh, the network hasn't been synchronized. But uh, another fastest way uh, is to use the remote node. So I'm going to show you how to use a remote node. You can go to moneroworld.com. So this is the remote node in here, node.moneroworld.com. Uh, and it's, it is at port 18089. So I'll go ahead and copy this remote node for now. So here they will show you the instruction how you do the, do the remote node. So this is uh, the address you type in the remote node. So let me go back to my Monero wallet. So I will type the install local host. I will use the remote nodes. And then this is supposed to be a nine. And then I will connect. So my network is a little bit slow right now. So it's connected right now. It's already connected. So it will take time to synchronize a little bit. But this will be a faster option. So instead of synchronize the whole blockchain, and here you can see the blocks remaining. So 1519812. So this number will be declining once they synchronize. Instead of synchronize the whole thing, uh, the whole blockchain to your computer, I use a remote node, it will be faster. So, but remember this will uh, not be best for the privacy. It's the best thing is to use a local host, which store everything in your computer. But for my practical purposes, I don't want to occupy too much uh, this space or bandwidth, you can use this option or you want to synchronize the wallet faster, it will, this will be another option. So here you can see, you can show the seed and key as well. So you can click that and show it again. To receive Monero, you can click receive. This is the address. Uh, you can click copy. This is how you copy your Monero uh, public address. So people can send uh, Monero to this address or you have some Monero in the exchange, you can send it to this address. The payment ID is optional when you receive the Monero, but if you send Monero from the wallet to the exchange, sometimes the exchange may require you to have a payment ID. So you can click generate to get the payment ID. And for the history, you won't be able to see um, the transaction until you synchronize the block. So right now I still have some block size remaining. So, oh, this go pretty fast actually. So. If you choose to synchronize the local host, use the local host to synchronize, it will synchronize the whole block in your machine. It will take overnight. So if I do remote host, it will be faster. So that's why I choose that. But remember, uh, if you do remote host, it's not good for privacy. So that's I just want to give you a heads up. So to send, you can click send in here. You can uh, type in the amount and the address. And then the payment ID is optional. It's not mandatory. So but some exchange, they require a payment ID. So, so currently Monero is trading at 
248, they can get in Binance, uh, Bitrix, Polonix, Kraken. So you can get it over there. So the upcoming half hour will be coming up. So you still have plenty of time to do the preparation. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also share with your friends. I have some other video about upcoming ICO. Check it out. Be sure to subscribe my channel so you can stay up to date with the free air jobs and the upcoming ICO. I'm not a financial advisor. Investing in ICO has inherent risk. Please use the due diligence to invest your money. Remember, we the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace.